<laughs> Hello, so I am back. You have to bear with me. I'm trying to do like, I'm trying to get ready, put a little bit of makeup on so that I don't look as dead as I do um, and talk to you because otherwise I'm just not going to get the time. Um, so I last spoke to you, I said I wasn't feeling very well. And I'm feeling better now. I know. I'm feeling better now. Uh, not 100% better, but better. And I was going to film. Yeah, what are you doing? What's wrong? Uh, no, Edie's not allowed to play with mummy's makeup today. Um, I was going to film a little bit uh, a few days ago, but I've been having some problems with my hip. Um, I'm in a lot of pain and I've actually got an appointment with the doctor tomorrow, a phone appointment with the doctor tomorrow to get my MRI results. I know, baby, to find out what's going on because I had an MRI a few weeks ago. So... Yeah, and so that so that's been my hips really been bothering me, and then the only pain relief that I can take with my hip gives me a migraine. So then I've had a migraine. So it's I can't win. But anyway, how are you all doing? Please let me know how you're all doing. You're gonna have to bear with me whilst I very shabbily do my makeup. I wasn't very well. Um, I don't think it was the virus, unless I had it very mildly and very strangely. Um, but the problem is both of my parents have the virus and we saw them the day before we went into lockdown, although it was distanced, there's a possibility the virus, you know, either I could have given it to them or they could have given it to me. We did keep our distance. We were two metres apart. We were outside. It was Mother's Day. Um, but yeah, that's a worry because my dad especially is very unwell today. I'm trying not to think about it, to be honest, because it makes me cry. Um, hey, Squidge. I'm also waiting for a video call from the vet because Dex is not very well. So shit's just, it's all going on. I can't actually see anything without my glasses on. So that could be interesting. I've got this tiny mirror to use. Is it funny, Edie? What are you laughing at? So yeah, I need to make myself look a bit... Edie, do I look... She's trying to get in Dexter's cage. Edie, do I look funny? Look. Do I look funny? So yeah, I'm determined to actually get some shit done today, even if it is only making, you know, making a video, putting a video out there because I've been incredibly unproductive. Unproductive, is that the word? Yeah, unproductive. Um, since I was ill, so for like a week. I'm so behind on the housework and just everything. And honestly, I've been feeling pretty mentally shit as well. You want to sit on my lap? Okay. You going to help me do my makeup? Uh, it is Edie's birthday. A week today. How old are you? Two. You're going to be two, aren't you? Are you beautiful? Look at that beautiful face. Look at that beautiful face. Do you want to do your makeup? Do you want to do your makeup? There you go. You do your makeup. <laughs> so, yeah, I've been feeling mentally quite rough. Um... It's hard being in isolation. It's very hard being a single parent, being in isolation, because you've not only got everything you've got to do, you don't, how you, don't open it, baby, don't open it. Having no other grown up to talk to is hard, really, really hard. Like, you know, Edie doesn't talk um, much. She can't really say many words. Are you gonna let me brush your hair? No. Um, so I miss that you know, adult interaction. That sounds a bit filthy, but you know what I mean? Um, just being able to get out and about, I think everyone's missing that at the moment, but I think when you are on your own, uh, 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 okay, I didn't know you could open that, Edie. So you can have that one. Oh. I get the feeling this is not gonna go very well because now Dexter's being a pain in the ass. I can't find the right brush to do my contouring. Like, that's not okay. Oh. Edie, no, 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 no. This is all going very wrong. This is all going very wrong. You stay there, baby. Oh, fuck. Excuse my language, Edie. I'm going to have to rub that in. Hope that blends in. Right. I've no idea what I was saying. This is basically what my life is like from six in the morning until seven in the evening. I've got a dog being a pain in the ass, a baby who. You're not a pain in the ass, are you? You're lovely. Ah. For your hard work. Um, I don't get any time. It's part of being a parent, I suppose. You don't really get any time to do anything or 
yeah. So yeah, I am gonna try and film little bits today, chat a little bit. Um, you, oh, do you wanna do my bronzer for me? Do you wanna do my bronzer? Here you go, ch -ch -ch -ch. do my bronzer on my face, go on, on my face. No, you wanna dip it in, don't you? Go on, on my face, no, don't, not on your face, darling. You're bronzed enough, baby. So you look alive, mummy looks dead. Does mummy look dead? Okay. Yeah. Okay, we've finished that baby. Now I need you to do this. This is a very important job. So this just blends it all in and makes it all finished. It's a special brush. So you go like this, Edie. Go like that. Lovely. Go on, do my face. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Ta. Ta. Thank you. That's very clever. I think I need to start setting like goals for myself for the day, but not unrealistic goals because I'm very good at setting unrealistic goals and then. Mama. Mama, yeah. And then getting like depressed and stressed when I don't reach them. Um, but I need to set some realistic goals for myself. Shall I put my mascara on? Look, Edie, look at the difference the mascara makes. It makes my eyes look alive. Look, watch. One, two, three, alive. Human, not human. Human, not human. I think what I want to do is I want to set one... All right, this is, this is my plan. I'm going to set one personal goal, one practical goal, and one creative goal. So practical would be something in the house. Personal would be something to keep my mental health okay or do something with Edie. And creative is something creative. So that's what I'm going to do. That's a really good idea I've just had. Now I need to put my glasses on so I can actually see. Oh, they're filthy. So, yeah. Wow, I've done a really shit job of blending that in, haven't I? Mm. Can you say, can you, Edie, can you, can you blow kiss? Look, blow kiss. Go, no, you <laughs> don't. Can I blow a kiss? Uh. No, you're not allowed the tweezers. Because you stabbed me with them the other day. Right, Edie, should we say bye-bye? Say bye-bye. Can you wave? You were just waving. <laughs> wave. And blow kiss or show your tongue. Oh my God, today has been just, I say today, it's only 12.30. So um, I spoke to you this morning and just after I spoke to you, I found out that my dad, my dad has gone to hospital uh, because he's having trouble breathing. Uh, he's had the virus two weeks now. Um, so obviously very worrying time. Um, been trying to keep busy to not really think about it and it's hard because you know my mum can't be with him because a she's ill herself and b because of you know the virus that you can't have a patient you know can't have someone with you um and the other thing is dexter isn't very well i just had a video appointment with the vet and uh, he looked at her gums and listened to what had been going on and he said yeah she needs to be seen so we've got to go. I've got to take Texas to the vets this afternoon. And it's just never ending. Um, Dexter had an operation several weeks ago. I might have mentioned it on here. I can't remember if I did. Um, to have a lump removed and then she had a reaction to it and then it's been getting better. But since the operation, she's not really been, and she's manic about food. She's not really wanted to eat her food. Um, she still wants human food because she steals food off of Edie. And she, she's just eating grass constantly. Um, and she's throwing up and vomiting. Uh, she's vomiting and shitting out grass. Um, she's been fine in herself, so I've not been too concerned. But it's just reached a point where it's like, this isn't right. So I spoke to the vets and, yeah. You stink, Dexter, don't you? Um, she's there. And we've got to go. We've got to take her down this afternoon. So, And also the worry of going out and leaving the house and, you know potentially coming into contact with the virus um so yeah i will keep edie in the buggy i'll put her in the buggy and have her rain cover on so edie's as protected as possible it's just it's just mental 
So the vet said she will need some blood tests and um, possibly a scan or an x-ray to see if there's anything, he said, anatomically going on. So yeah, that's what we're up to. So I just wanted to say, just in case I didn't get the time to come on again and I add anything else to our day, I just wanted to say that's why um, I'm going to try and get this video sorted now so I've got something to go up. Um, and then if I can add to it later, I will. But if not, then that's how our day is spent and I will speak to you tomorrow.